Ballyclare was buzzing this week when news leaked out that Prince Charles and his wife Camilla were to make a brief visit to the County Antrim town. A crowd of several hundred gathered outside Ballyclare community concerns, eagerly anticipating the royal couple's arrival. When the royal limousine pulled up, the two special visitors were given a rousing welcome. The crowd weren't disappointed as the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall went on an extended walkabout when they chatted to and greeted many of those who had turned up to welcome them. What did he say to you? He said, do you all live around here? And what did he uh, say? He says, yes, we're, some of us are close and some of us come from out in the outskirts. And what do you make of him? Oh, he's lovely. So I was speaking to uh, both the Royal Highnesses. Right, and what were you saying to them? Uh, we just had a general chat and I said how welcome they were. And it's very nice to meet them. A great honour for Bally Clare. Yeah, it's a great day for Bally Clare. A great day for Bally Clare, yes it was. So there's a bit of a buzz about the place today. Absolutely, it's brought a tremendous buzz to the town. It has, yes. Well, what we what want to say to you? Um, just about homework and that, and the nature of all our homework done before we came out. It was all um, done. What do you think of them? They're amazing. <laughs> Great plan. Yes. I suppose you can't believe they were just standing in front of you here in Valley Clare. I know, I was pretty shocked. Inside the building, the two VIPs met representatives of funding bodies and local business and statutory bodies who support the work of the centre. Agnes Shepherd, she's from the parish here in Ballyclare, keeps, uh, keeps me right, tells me how to keep the show on, on the road. Sister Mary Jo Corcoran, who's a retro sister, for covering for congregation celebrating 400, uh, 400 years this year. But the highlight of their visit was to listen to a short musical piece performed by the highly acclaimed and successful singing group The Priests, whose debut album has sold over a million copies. One of the priests, Father Eugene O'Hagan is the parish priest in Ballyclare and is also on the board of directors at Ballyclare Community Concerns. Local children Christy Gratton and Amy Gilmore, members of the Reactions Drama Group who meet in the centre, presented the Prince and his wife with gifts to mark their visit. Christy, you, had to, you made a, a presentation of some pens to Prince Charles. What did you have to say to him? I had to say, I would like to present you with these pens to commemorate your visit to Ballyclare, Your Highness. Well, I said, um, very, it was very nice to meet you, Your Highness, and then I just made it up. I don't know what else was it. <laughs> was she nice? Yes. Were you nervous? A wee bit. Well, uh, we're delighted that it went so well, and I think everybody here in Ballyclare Community Concerns in Foundry House, uh, when the guests arrived, they may not have known exactly who the, the visitors, the important visitors were, but I think by the look on their faces and the, the greeting that the royal couple had for the crowd outside, because they, they went over to meet uh, everyone who had been standing there for a, a good couple of hours, it has been a thrilling experience for, for everybody. And uh, you're, you're a director here um, at, on these premises? Yes, I'm one of the members of the board of directors here in the Ballyclare Community Concerns and have been for the last four years. And, um, and we've watched the building change from a porta cabin, uh, but run down and uh, threadbare and uh, weather beaten, into this new building, which has been, you know, in a sense, provided by the, the funding that's been available to community um, groups from the 
the Department of Social Development and the International Fund for Ireland, those kind of uh, funding bodies. And uh, now that we're up and running, it's, uh, uh, we hope to be able to you know, continue the outreach to the wider community in these premises. And uh, I mean, the success of the police goes on and on. Uh, you've already um, performed for the Pope. Now here today, you've performed for uh, royalty. It's been amazing, really, the, the whole project, the journey of making the, the, the priests the album. Uh, when we began last year in April, little did we think that, uh, you know, the, that it would gather such momentum and be so, so successful. And for that, uh, you know, we must thank all, our, all those who bought the album, those who would still like to buy it and hopefully will. And uh, greatly humbled, it must be said too, by the very kind remarks and comments people have you know, made about the, the music and what it has done. What, in a sense, many people have said that it has it been able to, to you know, step out of, out of the, 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 the race of life and the music has kind of touches their hearts and um, it's been a really wonderful experience for us. Um, it all turned out really, really well. After all the nerves, butterflies, sleepless nights, it seemed to be over in a flash and went really, really well. Both you know, really genial, nice, down-to-earth people put everybody well at their ease. And I think it was actually turned out something that I really, really enjoyed. And if I was honest, it was really slightly dreading, you know, not in a bad way, but just scared. About it. But they put everybody at their ease and seemed to be very interested in everybody, which was nice. With me here are uh, Heather and Gemma. Um, you had a very special visitor um, at your premises here today. Yes, we did indeed. We had the Duchess of Cornwall, accompanied by the Prince of Wales, who came to visit Naomi Bridal in Valley Clare. And how did it go? It went very well indeed. She was very interested in all the gowns that we have in store, and was interested in our designers, wanted to know where we got them from, which parts of the world we came from. We had a discussion over her wedding gown, and she said that it's a bit redundant now, and she has no more use of it. <laughs> very good. And Gemma, how did you get on? Yes, very well. She asked me when I was getting married and then inquired about my dress, um, if the dress I was wearing was indeed the one I'd be wearing on the day, which of course it isn't. So. It was very nice. She was lovely, yes. Was a lovely lady. Oh, yes. yes, I think it was a really, really good day for the for Ballyclare Community Concerns and the people of Ballyclare who showed their support for the whole event by turning out and meeting everyone and also the people that came from all over Northern Ireland and some from down south, our friends from down south. You had a chance, obviously, you were escorting the royal couple uh, around. Just, just how did you find them? I find them very warm. I find them very interested in what uh, they were being asked to look at and all the different things. And they're just a very warm couple. Well, I think it was, it was just a good day for the community. It, it represents so many different aspects of the community, um, both church-wise, community-wise, politically. And it's just good to sort of show Ballyclare off in a good light. And, and obviously to have a, have a few stars around, not only the royal stars, but uh, um, recording stars. <laughs> have our, our own special recording star from the town. A really special day here in Valley Clare. I mean, uh, the prince himself said very kind words at the end about the music that we have kind of captured on the album and wished as well for the, for the future. And uh, the Duchess likewise, as I escorted them out to the, to the front door to say goodbye, were, were very uh, enthusiastic and encouraging in their, in their praise and their comments. Did, did they get a free copy of the album when they were here? They got a signed copy of the album, so that was a pleasure for us and hopefully it will be a pleasure for them. Yeah.